feel like fighting. What draw and talk of peace? I hate the word as I hate hell. All Montagues and thee. Have at thee, coward. What the heck are you talking about? I told him to come at me, bro. <laughs> what art thou drawn among these harmless hinds? Turn thee, Benvolio, look upon thy death. Chill, come on. You're a 10, you need to get like a suit. Just let me at it. Um, guys, 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 you like can't do that. I will like literally kill you both if you get into one more fight on my street. Okay, dude, sorry about those guys. Okay, yeah, whatever, but I'm gonna get you. Tybalt's on to us. Uncle, this is a Montague, a our foe, a villain, that is hither come in spite to scorn at our solemnity this night. Easy, saucy boy. <laughs> hey, are we in Tennessee? Because you're the only ten I see. <laughs> Listen, I just got rejected and I need to bounce back. Can I hit you up? Well, you <laughs> kind of sound like a jerk, but you're cute and I need a boyfriend, so I guess that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> But I've only met you once, and it was for like ten minutes. But I'm madly in love with you. It is the East, and Juliet is the Sun. Dude, that's like low-key creepy, but I feel the same way. <laughs> it is my lady. Oh, it is my love. I'm too bold. Tis not to me she speaks. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not too bold. Oh, sick, dude. Yeah, and I'm in madly in love with you, too. I want to keep talking, but it's kind of late and you're a Capulet. I want to keep talking to you too, but you're a Monty good. I really don't like the name Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want me to change it, or...? It's all the same anyways.
Hey, what's up, Rents? For the last time, my name is Lawrence. Okay, dude, whatever. Were you with that Rosaline girl again? With Rosaline, my ghostly dude? No, I've forgotten that name and that name's Whoa. Then what were you doing? Actually, I wanted to know if you could marry me to Juliet. Holy St. Francis! Um, yeah. I guess I could do it, though. <laughs> How you doing? Dude, you're like 18, I'm 40. I always like my women older. Dude, that's Juliet's nurse. Oh crap, this is awkward. <laughs> so if you write. What did you wish to say to me? Juliet will meet you tonight. Sounds fantastic. Juliet and I can be married. This feels kind of like we're in Vegas. Yeah, but I'm an actual minister. And we're not drunk. Come, come with me and we will make short work. For by your leaves you shall not stay alone. Till Holy Church incorporate two in one. Dude, you're such a hothead. No, I'm not. I will fight you. Exhibit A, everybody. Oh, the... By my head, here come the Capulets. By my heel, I don't care. <laughs> Ooh, you're a tough guy. Yeah, I basically don't feel pain. Gentlemen, for shame, forbear this outrage. Tybalt, Mercutio, the prince expressly hath forbid forbidden bandying in uh, Verona's streets. Hold, Tybalt. Good, Mercutio. Did you feel that, Montague? <laughs> that escalated quickly. Yes. Stab, you're it. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Dude, I like, no, you can't do that. Rules are rules. I gotta punish you. Catch me. You must exile Romeo for his crimes. He killed my blood, but only because my blood killed his. Why can't Romeo and I be in love in secret? Why is my life so hard? Um, well, your life just got a lot. <laughs> Why? What happened? Yeah, Romeo kind of got it down. But it was his own fault, so. Oh my god, why does the world hate me? This world doesn't hate you. Romeo's just kind of an idiot. All guys are. There's no trust, no faith, no honesty in men. All for dirt, for scorn, for scorn, all not, all this something. Sure, every other guy is like that, but not my Romeo. What did I do to deserve this? You are defying your parents. <laughs> Romeo, come out here, you coward. Julia doesn't want to be married to a fool. What happened? What did the prince say? Am I going to die? I don't want to die. Please don't let me die. Well, man, calm down. You're not going to die. You just have to leave the city. That's not any better. I'm basically dead outside of Verona because there's no life there. You really are an ungrateful coward. You're lucky you're not dying, so stop throwing a pity party and get over yourself. But Julia is here, and I don't have a life without her. She's like so perfect, and my world would fall, fall apart if I didn't have her. Dude, you barely know her. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Romeo, hide! Someone's here! Fine, but I really don't want to. I have come to talk to you about Juliet. She wants to have crying, and it's really trying to give me a headache. No kidding, Romeo is getting drunk on his own tears, and I'm about to start, to start, I'm about to start crying from the noise. Nurse, is Juliet okay? Is she, like, totally upset that I killed her cousin? She cries all the time. She cries out Tybalt's name, and then your name. It's basically like I'm murdering her. I might as well draw a dagger on myself. Stop acting like a fool. You are lucky you're not dead, so put your stupid weapon away and get over yourself. We'll get you back together with Juliet, but you have to be patient, which I know is something you lack. Nurse, tell everyone to go to bed and Romeo will come to her. Wow, how perfect. 
Romeo, take this ring of Juliet's. She asked me to give you. This will be perfect. Farewell, I will miss you. Do you think we'll ever meet again? I doubt it not. And all these woes shall serve for sweet discourses in our times to come. Don't cry that Tybalt is dead. Cry that the murderer lives here. We will avenge him. Yeah, Mom, how will we don't do that? We're also going to get you married. Uh, how about not to that girl? <laughs> girl, you best be getting married. Or you finna catch these fists. He's young. Just yell at her. That's what I do. All right. You're marrying me with Juliet tomorrow. Why marry so soon? You say you do not know the lady's mind. Uneven is the course, like it not. She's hot. Dude, how do you know if she even likes you? Immoderately, she weeps for Tybalt's death, and therefore I have little talk of love. Yeah, we haven't talked about it, like, at all because she's really upset about her cousin, but I'm going to assume that she's chill about it. I obviously know her well enough by now to make this decision for her. Anyways, here she is. Be gone now. What will I ever do? Okay, I have an idea. Drink this vial. It will make you look dead. That way your wedding will be canceled and you can run off with money. There's like a million things that can go wrong with that, but I am extremely desperate. <laughs> Why should I trust this sketchy prior to? He seems awfully interested, and it's kind of weird. But do I have any choice? Not really. Romeo and a chance of death, or Paris and a life without choice? It's pretty obvious. Romeo. But what happens when I wake up? Oh, if I wake, shall I not be distraught? So yeah, everything will work out perfectly. Hold on, wait. Thou art poor. Hold, there's forty ducats. Let me have a dram of poison, such soon speeding gear, as will disperse itself through all, all the burnt veins, that the life weary taker may fall dead. You know, you look poor, so I'll give you a hundred bucks for poison that'll kill instantly. Such mortal drugs I have, but Mutana's law is death that comes to any to any he mutters them. This is illegal, but I love the savage life. Never average. You go, bud. <laughs> Hola, Friar Lawrence, are you there? Guten Tag, Friar John. Did you get my letter to Romeo? What did he say? I got stuck in some sick city full of sick people and they quarantined me so I couldn't get it to him. <laughs> Nobody could because of fear of spreading infection. No, you failure! That letter held more importance than your entire future. Go get me my iron crowbar. Uh, yeah. Well, since the friar screwed everything up, I'll go to the tone myself. She'll be angry, Romeo doesn't know, but she'll get over herself.
death, me and Juliet are a buy one get one free type of deal, so I'm coming too. It's your fault Juliet is dead. She died of grief after you killed her cousin. I will kill you. Wilt thou provoke me? Then have at thee, boy. <laughs> oh, I am slain. If thou be merciful, open the tome. Lay me with Juliet. It's kind of weird, man. She is my wife. And I will end whoever gets between me, Juliet, and I. Time to have the most lit party ever in the afterlife. Oh no, now I really gotta kill myself. <laughs> oh crap. Man, man, man.